See, I would press the button. I would, I would, I, sorry, I would not press the button. I would not press the button for a different reason here. I have had a poop cacti-like experience in my life. So I can tell you first, Whoa. from first-hand experience. Was it actual cacti? <laughs> it was not I did not actually poop a cactus. Though I'm sure that there are going to be plenty of like JPEGs and GIFs on I, Twitter. I don't of, even like, want to look at Twitter after this. Yeah, right? I just, I just, I don't think so. Cactuses no. emerging from all over my body. <laughs> uh, no, but uh, not so fun fact, I guess. Don't eat too many pumpkin seeds in too short of a time period. <laughs> That's my. That is the learning. If I can, do, if I can teach you anything <laughs> with my existence online, this is what I want to teach you, friends. <laughs> Don't eat too many seeds. Hello, Internet. Welcome to Game. Hey, guys, and welcome to GT Live. Post Thanksgiving, we missed you guys over the holiday. Hopefully, this is the last time we'll see Turkey Friend. Bye. Hopefully, you gobbled till you wobbled. And hopefully, you have now wobbled your way back to... Lean fitness, so that way you're not feeling sick. Skip is still stuffed on turkey. His tail is making an appearance. <laughs> That's about it. That's it. He's, and he's, and, and he's, and he's gone. gone. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, Skip! So, uh, hey, hope you had a great holiday. We missed you guys. Uh, it was a nice relaxing break for us. But now we're back and we're ready to do this. Let's do this. Do it. Just do it. So today what we're doing... In case you were wondering what exactly we are doing. The it being done today. The it that is being done today. Uh, over the last couple weeks, we've been playing the Would You Rather game. Uh, and so we're playing a variant of that that uh, seems to be popular these days, which is Would You Press the Button? Which is the same game as Would You Rather, except it's just... Do you... There's a button, which <laughs> makes it fun. <laughs> right? It makes it really exciting because you can just press the button over and over again. <laughs> Uh, it's, it's really just like, here's a scenario with a really good thing and a really bad thing. Would you do it? Is it worth it? You don't know. Press the button or not. So, Stephanie, will you press the button? This is a long one. Jeez, okay. Oh will you press the button? You can become God and can control reality and everything in existence as you see fit, but... So, everything is in your control, but... Okay. <laughs> every time you take a dump, you poop cacti... This is, un I like that there is like an added post. There's a lot, there's a lot of layers to this one. In case, they want, they want to make sure you can't get out of it, I think. Case, yeah, in case you weren't clear, <laughs> pooping cacti <laughs> is unimaginably painful. Oh, jeez. And you never acquire a tolerance for the agony. You cannot stop yourself from going to the bathroom <laughs> for longer than 24 hours. So once a day, you are... You're very, you're very regular. Yeah, you're very That's, regular, you which must is nice. Be, you must be, you know, doing the fiber right or something. Once That's a day, good. you are excreting a cactus from your anus, basically. <laughs> there, there you go. <laughs> would, would you, for godlike powers, would you be willing to poop a cactus? I don't think so. Poop I don't cacti. think so. If there's no way out of it, I... <laughs> I... I just don't think that's a trade-off I'd like to make. <laughs> For godlike powers. The thing is, if you have godlike powers, see, I don't think even I don't even think the left side is really that great. Like, do you really want God? Do you want to be God? I do, I don't. So so you're. I don't want to. I don't want that kind of responsibility, and I also don't want this other problem that I get saddled with. So you would not press the button. I would not press this button. See, I would press the button. I would, I would, I, sorry, I would not press the button. I would not press the button for a different reason here. I have had a poop cacti-like experience in my life. So I can tell you first, Whoa. from first-hand experience. Was it actual cacti? <laughs> it was not act I did not actually poop a cactus. Though I'm sure that there are going to be plenty of like JPEGs and GIFs. On Twitter I, I don't even like, want to look at Twitter after this. Yeah, right? I, just, I just, I don't think so. Cactuses no. emerging from all over my body. <laughs> uh, no, but uh, not so fun fact, I guess. Don't eat too many pumpkin seeds in too short of a time period. That's my, that is the learning. If I can, do, if I can teach you anything with my existence online, this is what I want to teach you, friends. <laughs> 
don't eat too many seeds in a short amount. Of, see, because I don't just like crack open the seed and eat the little like tiny meat of the seed. Which like, I think is what you're supposed to do. Well, I don't, because you, because you, ro come Halloween time, you roast and you salt your seeds. I was going to say nuts, but it's not nuts. <laughs> just got nuts on the brain, sorry. Uh, you roast and, and salt your seeds, and so you eat the salty <laughs> roasted seeds. Going seed. in all kinds of terrible directions. It's, they're delicious. They're great. And so one day I'm like, wow, that was a really good pumpkin seed. Let me shovel down a handful more of these. And then like five hours later, it was probably the worst hour and a half I have ever had one of the worst hours and a half I have ever had in my life sitting on a toilet. I won't go further than that, but let me just say, pooping a cactus, trust me, my friends, godlike powers is not worth it. Especially, <laughs> trust me, it is not, not worth it. Don't press the button. Long story short, not press the button. And moving on from that. Break this dilemma. I thought this dilemma was good. This was a good dilemma. I'm just okay. gonna be worried about ever eating a pumpkin seed ever in my life. Also sunflower seeds. Watch out for those too. Yeah, you had some digestive issues can't, there as Can't well. speak for a personal experience. Cause, Cause see, the body can't digest cellulose. Right? <laughs> Whoa now. Well, no, and so you have these like- You're going all eighth grade biology on it. You have these sharp, pointy seed capsules that don't digest and just get through your system. They gotta go somewhere just poking out all over the place. It is rough, my friends. It is rough. Okay, there we go. Will you press Question the button? Question two, this is gonna get so much better. Okay, you can turn into anything you want. Okay. But you, you have to stay that thing for a week. Yikes. You can turn into anything you want, but you have to stay it for a week. Okay. So let's let's take this worst case scenario. Will you press the button? What's something that you would want to turn into though? That's like you wouldn't want to stay as like okay. Bird. The, yeah, plane. you you want to try out a whole bunch of stuff. I could survive for maybe like twenty minutes as a bird, but I don't want to be a bird for a week. No. No. Why not? The, well, we've just talked about the sunflower seed problem. Birds <laughs> might have better abilities to process seeds. Not sure. Not sure. I can only I, I assume. I can't take that risk. <laughs> because no just, living creature would want to subject themselves to what I went through that day. I just can't. I just can't take that risk. No creature should ever undergo what I went through that day. <laughs> um, and I think the uh, so the other big part about turning into whatever you want is to like, I don't know, get out of stuff on the fly. If you think about like, like a video game or something, you. You're trying to sneak past enemies or whatever, and you can temporarily turn into like a box, and you get ignored, and then you turn back into a person, and then you go on your merry way. Yeah. And you couldn't do that. Then I'm stuck as a box for a week. <laughs> all sucks. those times. For all those times. For all you those times. Transform into a box. I'd be stuck as a box. I don't think I would do it. I don't think I'm gonna push any of these buttons. I think I'm too pessimistic with these buttons. You have to stay that thing for a week. I mean, it's not, I, 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 I'm trying to see the downside to this, but like, if I were to turn into anything, it would just be a week vacation, Stephanie. You would have to plan for the week. I think you press it. It'd be so boring. I think you press it. Do you press the button? I, I, How would it be boring? You're a human for like 80 years of your life. Everyone's like, okay, wait, take this example. Okay. Everyone's like, turn into cat pat. Do you want to be skipped for a week? Yeah! Have other people <laughs> shovel my poo? Have other people feed me? Get too kneaded on my face every morning and smack you with no repercussions? Absolutely. Why wouldn't I want You're just to be like, I'm never, come, I'm never coming back. Yeah! That. <laughs> Two weeks! Here you go! Let me just lay around and sleep all day. Feed me, feed me, feed me. Yeah, but what if you get, like... <laughs> That's 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 my skip chirp. You can't it's more always, like a dolphin. You can't always predict what's gonna happen to you over the course of that week. Like you can't predict what's gonna happen to you in a week as a human. <laughs> I don't know what's gonna happen to me this week. Who knows? Tomorrow I might play some weird game. You, craziness happens sometimes. That would be the craziest thing you could imagine doing. I I was just playing a weird game. I, I, 
living living dangerously over here. Tomorrow's game theory might not happen. Who knows? Oh my gosh. Right? Okay. Crazy things. But but to your point, okay. So <laughs> as you were saying. I I think for me, I'm I'm happy as is. I don't want to get stuck as something awful for a week. No, you've never wanted to live as like a fish. Uh, yeah. And explore the deepest realms of the ocean. See, I would. But if I have to be stuck as a fish for a week, there's a good chance that I get eaten by another fish, yo. Be a shark. That's why, you, that's why you don't choose something on the bottom of the food chain. You don't choose worm. You choose tiger. You choose shark. You choose whale. You choose something that's not going to, like, put you at risk. You choose the top of the food chain. <laughs> okay, may, maybe you've won me over. If, if, I, if I can be assured that I'm not going to, like, die within that week... I mean, can, maybe I can, that'd be I okay. I can't assure you of anything. I'm not, I'm not totally convinced. I press the okay, button. Okay, press the button. Press the Do button. It. Do you guys press the button? Uh, Every, take everybody's it. like, press the button. I'm, I'm the only one. I know. Unpopular opinion. I get it. It's okay. Take Do one. it. Take, Do take it. Press the a week as a dragon. I get that. Oh, that would be cool. A week as a dragon. I saw, I, there I saw Vampire. Oh. Really I saw that, I'm like, yeah, all right. Vamp dragon. Vampire I would be worried about. Dragon. Heck yeah. Well, dragon, uh, yeah. vampire would be a little concerning. Maybe and dragon, you have to eat a lot of goats and Dra stuff. Well, and also dragon, you start like you become public enemy number one very quickly. I was gonna say, <laughs> like guys, think about Game of Thrones here, guys. Guys, you're eating set. small children. You have to eat a lot of nice sheep, and everyone wants to kill you. Set your expectations a little, little lower than dragon. But see, the thing is, to make it Tiger, worth, to great. make it worth it for me, I'd have to do like dragon. You could do, you could, and, and we're talking about like living creatures. It says anything. I could be a planet if I wanted to be. Whoa. I could be an asteroid. Jeez. I could be... <laughs> golly, anything. golly gee whiz. 85% of people have pressed this button. Wow, all right. Done. All right. I get to turn into a rock. I could, I could be Jason for a week. No one wants that. <laughs> I don't even want that. Will you press the button, Stephanie? Reach a complete understanding with anyone you ever meet for the rest of your life. Whoa. Right? Or, but, but, there's no or, but, the first time you make physical contact with that person, you relive their worst experience in a dream. Ooh. Wow. I like this one. Oh my gosh. That's deep. Do you, you relive their, it's only a dream though, right? It's only a dream. It's only a dream and it's not your experience. You're reliving it maybe through their eyes. Correct. But you would be able to recognize that it's a dream. Correct. Do you have to remember all of them? I, yes. You, you have lots of dreams you don't remember? You probably remember them. You probably remember them. Oh, no. Similar to the way that you remember a dream. Okay, I would push that button. Whoa! I totally would. Why is that? Okay, so th think about what you could do if you could reach a complete understanding with everyone you ever met for the rest of your life. You could like, you could enable world peace with that kind of power. And maybe you wear gloves when you shake their hands. <laughs> what do you think this is? Frozen? Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I have nothing to say to that. My I, magical gloves. I would, to I would totally like in your personal life, you you ta like could reach a complete understanding. So basically, like I feel, I feel like if you understand someone, it's really hard to fundamentally dislike them because you understand them. Everyone comes into like life and everything with their own perspective, and if you understand it, it's a lot easier to like people. But there's a lot. I mean, their worst experience. It's pretty bad. For some people, that's gonna be like. Horrific. For other people, that's gonna be, you know, that's gonna be okay. What about cactus what? poops? Yeah. yeah, cactus poops and all, it's Stephanie. Just, it's just Trust a dream. me. Let me let you know. You do not want to relive cactus the poops. The thing is, it's just a dream. It is not something. Yeah, but you will. It will be so vivid. You will wake up <laughs> remembering. Like your butt will hurt. I don't think so. It's just a dream. It's just a dream. Haven't you ever had those dreams where you wake up and like you feel a oh, yeah. pain I... from like where you were shot? No. Or where poop was excreted from your body? <laughs> no. I, 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 I have. I've had dreams where I've gotten shot and I wake up and I feel like the, oh my gosh. the, the 
pain, not the pain, but like you feel it throbbing or like you feel, as, am I the only one? Are you kidding me? No. No, don't tell me this is another I hold the N64 controller maybe, weird. Maybe you're psychic. <laughs> maybe I am. Maybe it means you have special powers. Perhaps, <laughs> perhaps I do. Perhaps I'm a super superhero in disguise. So I, I definitely have bad dreams where you, you know, you wake up and your heart is like racing, and sure. for the first like three or four dream. seconds, you're not sure if it was real or not. Sure. I definitely have that. But you've never felt pain off of a dream. I don't think so. Really? Because you wake up and it's like, okay, I'm okay. It was just a dream. Yeah. And then you're like, all right, it's cool. All right. I won't touch anybody for another like week or so. Anyone you know. out there weird like me? Let me know, please. Stephanie is looking in the chat right now. Uh, all their other wrinkle, while well, while people are responding to that, other wrinkle I would throw into this one is what about all the people? Mad that, Pad get therapy. What about all That's, the people? That was that, the response. <laughs> You're wired. In Cole, Cole Wait, Paw says, "I feel you, Matt Pat." Wreckfish Gaming, me too. Jalen, I felt it before. Jalen Wolfer. Before I dream. Whoa. Felt it before I dream. Okay. Jalen is Paul. actually a prophet. Cole Paul, I feel you, Matt Pat. <laughs> Awesome Alec has also created a brilliant cactus poop emoji. Thank you. That is, Thank you, that Alec. is excellent. Uh, yeah, people, I feel you mad. Mauricio DePazzo, uh, Benjamin Neniger, Neniger. Ma Madeline, yeah, Benjamin, same thing. Caitlin Howard, yes, I don't feel alone. Thank you guys. <laughs> Thank you guys for understanding. Uh, the other thing that I'm gonna throw out there real quick for this, this one before we move on from it, uh, what about all the people that you bump into on a regular basis? Like, say you're in New York on a subway and it's like this. Oh, you know, because New York subways are always <laughs> like this. And now you've bumped into six people, you're gonna have a miserable night. It would mean a life, it would totally mean a lifestyle change. You would have to make sure that you don't bump into people. I would be like sweaters all year round and... You're assuming that you can block it with clothing, which is clearly a cop out physical contact that's like i shake your hand that's not like physical my is this not fi what type of contact ow, is this ow. stephanie what type that's of contact ow, is this ow, oh jeez hey <laughs> you no so no. i don't think <laughs> no i don't think that counts what what would and, you, what type of stephanie what type of contact is skin, this skin to skin look 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 like this Put your finger up. Like this. 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 Yeah, that's, that's, <laughs> that's physical contact as well. There are penalties in sporting events called penalties for physical contact. It's not like they're naked and rubbing up against each other. They are physically touching through the clothing. Oh. You are clearly- Those basketball players don't have sleeves. Okay, okay, <laughs> how about this? Let's do a hypothet- hypothetically speaking, you can't block touching other people. I, I would still accept that you would have to have a lifestyle change so that you avoid people as much as possible. Maybe I Isn't attach like sad? some styrofoam blocks what, to my shoulders. What I, you're having to shake a lot of people's hands in life. All right. Okay. <laughs> I think we all agree we press the button. That's it. We I would I would adopt a bow like like in Japan. Ooh, yeah. I'd be like, sorry, it's a cultural thing. I don't look Japanese, but I totally am. I would convince everyone. And then we would come to a mutual understanding and so they would like me anyway. <laughs> they just think you're a germaphobe. Right? And, and that's fine. I could claim, I could claim germaphobe. <laughs> okay, fine, good, great, good dilemma, fantastic. Moving on, will you press the button? You may kill any person you want at any time by thinking about it. No one will ever know it was you unless you confess. And even then they probably won't believe you. Wow, <laughs> so carte blanche. But you must kill at least one person a week, or else you will die. Wait, what? Kill what anyone. Thinking about it. Kill anyone, no ramifications. <laughs> well, except for the fact that you have to kill one person a week. No. I don't want either of those things. I genuinely don't want either of those things. No? No one? No, because even, No one on your hit list? Even, no, actually, if no one wants no, do you have do you have a hit list? No. <laughs> Jason's waving. He's like, no. I'm number one. <laughs> I I don't have a hit list and who, and even if who no has one has a hit list. <laughs> do, 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 do. Guys, I might be number two do, right do, after do, Jason. Do, do. He only knows a Send out. <laughs> 
so. Once a week is clearly too often. Like once a month <laughs> tops. Even if no one knows. <laughs> yeah. Even if no one knows you did it, you know you did it. And if you believe That's in deep. any kind of higher power, you would also have to assume that they know you did it. Right, sure. So, no, I don't want that. I don't want that on my conscience. Yeah, I agree. I think that this is... The, the, one, the one devil's advocate thing oh, I'll say devil's advocate. is that you could, you could be like um like one of those undercover detect you could be like a, your own bounty hunter basically yeah. or like Dexter where he's a serial killer but he only kills other serial killers so you could go around killing people who really deserve it but I feel like once a week that's a lot once that's a, a week lot is of people that's yeah it's a lot that's a lot that's too many I can't rack up that many serial killers right because because also like. I think about the number of people that I would want to kill. It's like zero. <laughs> You're like, it's only, it's only like 12 or 15 right yeah, now. Yeah, so like, I don't have enough to fill up that much time. Like, honestly, like maybe a solid like week or two time. No, I, I don't really know of anyone who I would. And people are saying kill terrorists. And, and that's like same principle as like killing serial killers or killing people who have done horrible things. But you'd have to know who they are. You'd have to. I, uh, once a once a week. I don't. I don't think I want the responsibility of that. Once a week is it's tough just, too. It's t so many. Because then, what happens if you forget a week? What if you get busy for a week? You know. I'm on like, vacation, man. Yeah, I got vacation, guys. I gotta do stuff. I gotta eat my turkey. It's Thanksgiving. Gobble till I wobble. I don't have time to be thinking about who I'm gonna kill. I don't think I pressed the button. Too much responsibility. Okay, too much responsibility. I will not. No. Okay. Wow, fifty-four percent of people have pressed the button. <sighs> that to me is scary. Whoa. That is terrifying. There are a lot of people who are just like, bring it. Yikes. Okay. They're hit lit once a week, guys. That's a lot of people. For the rest of your life. It's a long time. Whew. It's a lot of death. Like maybe the Death Note model works a little bit better, where you just like write it, like you do it. But what if you accidentally think about someone too? And you're like, right? whoops. There have to be like safety measures. There has to be like a, a safety on the gun in some capacity. Yeah, you have to, you have, there has to be like a little call out box that pops up in your mind that's like, are you sure you want to kill Jason? And then you have to be like, yes, I'm sure. Yep. Stop. Oh, God. Stop. <laughs> is, that no. your, is that your final answer? <laughs> yes. It's like Great. Vista. Keeps prompting you. But Windows Vista? <laughs> Great. I've moved on to Windows 10 at this point, okay? No one had this No, stuff. you haven't. We, we see your computer every, you have not upgraded to Windows 10. It's okay, it's at Windows 8.1 <laughs> and I'm a if, whole If Windows has any say about it, I will move on to Windows 10. <laughs> They're like, no, seriously, move up to Windows 10. Uh, okay, will you press the button? Here you go. You, this is tough. You marry the perfect person. Okay. Marry the perfect person, but you live forever and the other person will not. Oh man. Keep in mind that you will be alone forever. Mm. What do you For, say? Otherwise known as forever alone. Yes, keep. So, Jason, what's your answer? Jason, whoa, talking to Jason about this one. Why would you ask? Him? I was giving him more time. I was, I was giving him more Jason time about to this think. One? Skip. I say yes. Yeah? Yeah. Press it. I, Twofold. Yes. You get at least a short amount of time uh -huh. with the person that you want to spend the rest of your life with, if possible. Yeah. And you'll rack up memories. Make sure you spend it good at that point. Yeah. Secondly, you get to live forever. I'm gonna live yes, forever. I'm gonna learn how to fly. Hey. What? Two benefits. Yeah, live forever is a benefit. Uh, I don't know. And it sounds like you can't re because you can't remarry. people in the chat are saying you could get married again, but it doesn't sound like that. It sounds like you have to be alone forever after. Yeah, you marry the perfect person. So it's like 80 years with someone and then like a thousand years without them. Yep. I just like all the people who are telling me about their dreams. Guys, oh. calm down. I also saw a couple of people who did confirm that they gobbled till they wobbled. Excellent, good job guys. Good Hunter part. Humphrey has dreams of the future. Oh. Crazy. <coughs> Crazy. Do it, do it and cherish the time. 
Uh, yes, no. press it. Liam. Oh, shoot. Ah, slow down. Slow down, chat. There we go. Emily Gone says, living forever is a burden. Uh, Moshe Weissman, it's not the person you love, it's just the perfect person. Interesting. Hmm. Uh, it is a phraseology thing. Ooh. Yeah. Frasers, mm. frazers, no, I don't want to live forever. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Ooh, Dark Adept 876, a, a moment of happiness is worth a lifetime of sadness. Ooh. Uh, so yes for me. Uh, uh, let's see. Bug bats. Don't press. You might still marry them. Uh, Michael Michael D. Etor. Matt, here is some advice. Say, I already have married the perfect person. Oh. I already have married the perfect person. <laughs> I'm talking about you. Oh, what? Oh. Yeah, go figure. So, so what do you say? Do you press the button or not? I thought about doing that at the beginning of this question, actually. But then I'm like, no, that's, 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 no. That's so cheesetastic. Fun fact, I'm gonna live forever. Uh-oh. <laughs> Fun fact, one of us is gonna live forever. Who it is? Uh-huh. I, I... I don't think you press it. I don't think you press it. Here's why. First off, I don't really want to, I don't think I want to live forever. Well, especially if the person that I would want to spend that time with will be gone. Like that would be, yes, I would have the memories, but I would hope to rejoin them in some afterlife or rebirth or whatever it is, you know. I would hope that we are reunited after death in some way. Uh, so that's that. But then also, you it's, notice this, it says you marry the perfect person. Yeah, marriage is great, maybe I don't marry, like, I find the perfect person, I don't marry them, we just hang out for a really long time. That's, That's okay. Cool too. It's the modern age, you know, not everyone has to get married, stay friends with benefits for a long time, <laughs> besties, you know, OTP, cool. one true pairing. O T total O T P. <laughs> uh, will you be my O T P, my bay? So I also think you don't press it. My my. Initially, I was like, no, you definitely don't press it. And then I was like, maybe you maybe like if you if it's really the perfect person and you had an amazing relationship, maybe you had kids and they had kids and they had kids, and so you could like you could actually like watch your family like grow up and like generation after generation and stuff and that would be awesome. Man, you become a chronicler. But, right. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> what? What's wrong with me saying you become a chronicler? So, but, but it says you are forever alone, which makes me think that you don't do that. Like you. Become a chronicler? You don't, there's no chronicling. To be had. You just, you're alone and that's, that doesn't seem worth it. All right. So no. Nope. 42% have pressed the button. 58% did not. That was a good one. I like that one. There you go. Will you press the button? You can... Ooh. What? What? Okay. Anyway. You can end animal cruelty everywhere, but you become a fly. <laughs> what? What? Oh no. So basically you have like seven more days to live. Yeah. You can yeah, so basically you protect all future animals. All animals, Stephanie, but I love animals. You have a seven day lifespan and you're kind of obnoxious. Oh my gosh. Kinda. I mean some flies aren't super obnoxious. Some some flies only like fester around like poop and dead things, not like on your body. So those are like the good flies. The bad flies are the ones that you're swatting away. Mm. But like poop flies, all day, go. Be a poop fly. <laughs> so wait, so wait, you say yes? Go fly, go be a poop, go fly. You go eat some poop, go you fly. You press the button and you become a, a poop fly? <laughs> <laughs> I haven't said that I myself would want to become a poop fly. Because uh, here's the thing, I don't, I don't particularly like poop, as has been evidenced throughout this one, but also being a fly, I don't know if that's something I want. Plus seven day lifespan. I, yeah. I'm being a little bit selfish, 
I'm leaning towards not pressing the button. I mean, I guess it's like kind of selfish too, but it also doesn't say it, you end animal cruelty everywhere for all time. No, it just says you end I think it you have to assume. I, you have to assume. Forever? Yes. No animal is ever treated Correct. cruelly? Correct. What, what does that encompass? Does that encompass one animal eating another animal? No, animal cruelty. No, like, I think it just means people. people? Animal, yep. But cruelty. <sighs> Like, yeah, cruel you treatment still of animals. Kill them and still eat them. Yeah. Okay. Cruel so, treatment of animals. Torture animals. So it's important to understand here that I cry when ASPCA commercials come on. Idiot. I can't. I can't make it through animals that don't have a home. It is ridiculous. I think I'm too selfish to press the button though. I don't want a seven day lifespan. I want to stay with the animals and hang out with them and be nice to them for my lifetime. Okay. I want to rescue all the animals in the ASPCA commercial. I don't want to be a fly. Have you guys ever seen the, the Catwoman dating video. Oh it was gosh. it was this fake viral video from a couple years ago, but it's this girl who's like, I love all cats <laughs> and I wanna save every cat and I like them with their little bow ties and their little baskets. And it was supposed to be like a dating video for a dating website by this one woman and everyone's like, oh my gosh, watch this creepy cat catwoman. It's it's incredible. Uh, I'm sure if you look on YouTube you'll be able to find it. You should watch it. It's hilarious. So you're not gonna do it? But, I, but what you just said reminded me of Creepy Catwoman. I think I want to be nice to, to animals for my whole lifetime, rather than being uh, obnoxious to them as a fly for seven days. You know, as, as much as I would like to say that I'm like, I am, I can do it and I will sacrifice my life for all animals, I... I have to admit to myself that I, I don't think I'm that person. I'm also not convinced that, that animal Cruelty ends everywhere for all time. It does. You, the, the button says so, Stephanie. I, the buttons. If the button says it, it must be true. It's, it says everywhere, like right now. That also means forever, Stephanie. You have to assume forever. Also, just devil's advocate. It also means that there's probably not very much advancement in medical research. That was one of the like things that, that I was thinking. Which is, is it? You know. Animal testing happens for for medicine all the time, and it's is really is it considered cruelty? It's, I mean, it's experimentation for sure. It absolutely is. And I, you know, it, it's it's for medical advancement. And those medicines that get developed from that end up treating people. And usually they end up getting, end up in some form treating animals too, eventually. That was what I was going to say is you really halt medical progress yeah. in a lot of ways if you're not allowed to experiment on animals. And that's tough. And, and it means all animals. Like... From worms and crickets to mice to this cats, dogs. This also means spiders are never crushed. Like like mosquitoes carrying malaria, you can't wipe them out. I don't know if that's cruel. See again, it's it's the it's cruel. You're killing cru them. Cruelty's tough. You're killing them. I think we say that. Okay. There you go. Thirty-eight percent of people had pressed the button. Sixty-two percent did not. That was really hard. That was that hard. Was really that was hard. weird. That was a weird one. At first, I thought it was kind of funny, but. It just ended up being dark and sad, like all of these end up being. These Would You Rather games are dark and sad. I know. Poop fly. These are so sad. Poop fly, don't bother me. Poop fly, don't bother me. Poop fly. Okay. Will you press the button? You will never feel... Thanks for switching it, Jason. I I, I didn't keep up the, the thing. <laughs> Jay, I see I see like what Jason is like flipping to on like the camera over there. And he like flipped it to me so he can I could do my little clap dance. And then I stopped it as soon as he flipped it, so I, I feel bad. I apologize, Jason. Never switch it again. No! The stream will be so boring! Uh, will you press the button? You will never feel heartbreak or sad or sadness ever again. But you lose your ability. You Actually, loose. you loose your you ability loose, to walk. You loose your you're ability walking, to walk. Your walking is a little loose. wobbly need. <laughs> I've loosed my ability to walk. My hips are so out of joint. Uh... I mean, as Inside Out has taught us this year, as one of 2015's most highly praised movies, sadness is an important emotion to experience. I actually think you learn a lot from heartbreak and sadness. So I'm okay with heartbreak and sadness. Loose, don't, but what about loosing your ability to walk, Steph? That's supposed to be, the, if I don't need the, the one on the left, then it doesn't matter what the one on the right it's is. It's true, I agree. I think that, you know, 
for as much as negative feelings, like heartbreak, sadness, regret, things like that, as much as they suck sometimes or they feel like awful, they're worthwhile. Absolutely, and if you're the only person in the world who never, because everybody feels sadness and heartbreak, if you're the only person who never feels that and you feel happy all the time, you can't relate to anybody. Yeah. You, you can't, like. You don't instantly come to an understanding of everyone just exactly. by touching them. Exactly, and then, then experiencing their worst moment through a dream. Right? It's also one of those weird things where like, say a family member dies and everyone else in your family is like at the funeral and they're grieving and you're like, hey guys, did you see the Packers game over the weekend? Right, that doesn't make any sense. You would become so socially awkward. You would it become would be so, so weird. Everyone would hate you. Yeah, anyway. Hey Skip, how are you? So I will not press the button. Yep. Here we go, 28% have pressed the button, 72% did not. There you go. Yeah, I, I also I, I didn't stop on it for too long, but I just noticed that the top comment on that one was, uh, what is the point of joy and happiness if you don't, it was basically like, joy and happiness lose their meaning and their importance if you don't have the, the sadness and heartbreak. That's true. Which is true, I think that's a very good point. All right. <gasps> okay, will you press the button? You get one million dollars, but you have a 33.33333 chance at getting killed the next day. Oh no, no way! A, Not a one chance. third chance? No, you, no. Have two, you have two thirds chance of surviving. I don't care. Two thirds, sixty-six percent. I don't care. Million dollars. Don't care. No. Million dollars. No. Two million dollars. No. Ten million dollars. No. No amount of money. Hundred million dollars. I don't care. Hundred million dollars. I'm fine. Billion. One billion dollars. <laughs> <laughs> one million dollars. <laughs> no. 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 One billion dollars. No. Two thirds. Jason likes to gamble. No. We were talking about this Those at lunch. Those odds are not good. Right? Those two, odds are really bad. That is two thirds chance. Everyone's no? saying no, terrible odds, terrible, terrible odds. Terrible odds on that. Don't press it. No, all oh, right. Although Fl Flaming, uh, Flaming Khajiit says, I like those odds. <laughs> <laughs> That's the, I'm a gambling man. <laughs> and, and maybe to your point, uh, someone else said one million, nah, not enough. Uh, yes, yes, no. What, okay. Press, press it. Can I say Steampunk Robot has also come up with a really awesome emoji here for pressing the button. It's like, <laughs> button, arrow, do it. Do it! Press it! Press the button. Uh, okay, how about this? How about ten million dollars, one sixth chance of getting killed the no. next day. Hundred million dollars, one sixth chance. No. One billion dollars, one sixth my, chance. You I'm will not, not bet. betting my life for money. You will never bet your life for money. No, I won't bet my life for money. Wow, Jason, bet your life for money mm -mm. at any I, amount. I don't think so. I mean, as long as I have enough to get by, I'm happy. One so, tenth percent chance. I, I still don't think. Okay, so, so may, for one day, ten million dollars. What? I don't think so. I'm trying to be like, I'm trying to get one someone to move here. Percent? No, one ten. Okay, what, wait, I'm looking up your odds of getting struck by lightning. Your odds of getting struck by lightning over the course of a lifetime is one in 12,000. Okay. So it would have to be like that's, those kind of odds. That's like higher than I would anticipate. Over the course of your lifetime. I am terrified of getting struck by lightning now. <laughs> We are gonna get struck by one in 12,000, that's not. People survive that all the time. Yeah. 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 Fun fact, I almost got struck by lightning one time. All sorts of fun facts. Wow. Today. Yeah. What an interesting story that sounds like. Yeah, but, uh, Way to tease it. Cheese. Yeah, no, it was uh, one of those things. So in Ohio, when I was back in Ohio, they have Amish country. Uh, it's basically the collective of the Pennsylvania Amish in Ohio. Ohio actually has more uh, Amish people than Pennsylvania. All their fun facts. But uh, basically what ended up happening was it was like, you go there for, they have like the best furniture and really awesome donuts, ice cream, and just like baked goods. Uh, so you go there and you shop for furniture and my family would do that, you know, every weekend, every so, or like a weekend every so often. And uh, huge, huge thunderstorm, like one of the worst of my memories as a child. And we're at the top of this hill called Mount Hope 
and l there's a stoplight at the top of the hill and a stoplight at the bottom of the hill. At the top, we are stopped at the stoplight at the top of the hill. At the bottom of the hill, stoplight, like right in front of our faces, right in front of the car, you see this lightning bolt come down and, and strike the car at the base of Mount Hope. Can you do that sound effect again? And it would always felt like this huge flash. It was terrifying. The car at the bottom of the hill got struck. I mean, it wouldn't have been me specifically getting struck, but like the car. But uh, it was pretty intense. Like from that point, this was as I when I was a kid too. So like from that point on, I called Mount Hope, Mount Death. <laughs> not that anyone died or I, anything. Like I the car is say, actually one of the safest did places. Did they that die? You can no, of course not. Okay. But as a kid, I'm like, oh my gosh, they got struck by lightning. It freaked me out. That and was you were how like, I sounded as a kid. That's so cool. That was, how did you sound? <laughs> oh my gosh, they got struck by lightning. <laughs> Exactly how, how you must I have had a lot of friends. No, I didn't. I will not press this button, and apparently I can't tempt anyone to press this button for any amount of money on, or let's, odds. Let's see if anyone like on Twitter will do it. Let's see. Uh, Bill Cipher, watching this live stream. What have I done? My head is on literally everything. It's on a creepy. It's on creepy sadness. It's on a fly. It's on cat pat. It's great. It's great. Let's Beautiful. see. I live in Florida. I beat lightning odds every day. Lindsay. Says at Lindsay12325. Yeah, Lindsay. You keep beating those odds. I believe in you. One in 12,000. Set at Seth the Hanson. Totally with Steph on this one. Don't press the button. Ooh, oh. Gamer City at JV Wizard 123 says, Matt, notice this. Humans are animals too. Back to the animal cruelty problem. So we would end all cruelty everywhere. Including human on human cruelty. That's tough. I'd take that button push. Whoa, you now, now all of a sudden you change. I'd take it. Good job, Gamer City. Gamer underscore city. If we can count humans as animals too. And, and and all cruelty ends everywhere. You would you would sacrifice your life for that? I would turn into a fly. I'd press that button. And you would die in seven days. Yeah. <laughs> but you I won't would... bet your life for a hundred million dollars. <laughs> well, that's to end all cruelty everywhere. And then as a fly, I can I can just like buzz around for a while from poop pile to poop pile. So honestly, awesome. you become like, a poop fly. And look, and look out at all of the non-cruelty in the world everywhere, and I'd be like, wow, I made such a, I made such a positive impact on the world. I would, you, be, I would be able to go happily at that point. You would be a poop fly. <laughs> Thanks. You're welcome. I appreciate that. There you go, poop, poop fly. <laughs> Uh, I'm trash, thank you, at, that's not me saying, that's, that's the person's name, I'm trash, thank you, at Diana <laughs> HMPC underscore, says there's more to life than money, at Matt Pat GT. Yes, I know, but I'm trying to tempt someone, okay? I'm trying to get someone to press the damn button. I will not press the button. Those odds aren't that good. Uh, really? 50% wow. of people have pressed the button and 50% haven't. <gasps> really? Wow. Guys, wow. if you're going to press the button, Hold on, like, I bet if they're willing to offer you a million dollars for your life, I bet they would offer you more. Or better odds or something. Wow. That is really surprising, actually, that people would take those odds. Huh. Yeah. Interesting. I'm, yeah. Oof. There we go. I look at that. Everyone in the comments is like, I could beat them. It's like, you don't get a choice. Okay, when you press the button, you get to live in your favorite video game universe, being whatever type of character... Of your making. Awesome. Great. <laughs> uh, whatever type of character of your making. Great. But you stay as a side character and you will be completely irrelevant to the main characters. What? So if you're like in World of Warcraft, you're like an NPC. Or if you're in Chrono no, Trigger. No, no, you, you get to be whatever type of character yeah. of your making. Right. I, but that you, doesn't make sense for a game like World of Warcraft because every player contributes in some way or another. No, there are the there are the shopkeepers who are just there to hand out quests. Yeah, but you don't make yourself a shopkeeper. You make yourself you. But you are and, the equivalent of said shopkeep. You are the equivalent of so I don't quest get, deliverer number three. I don't get to I don't get to quest. No, I, you, I don't get to slay. You anything. get to quest. You're just a side character. I don't. But I. You're Am I a player to, or not? You, you're a player. Okay. You're just not part of the main plot. So, like, if the plot is save the world, you're not saving the world. You're just hanging out. You're living your life as a bard. As, I mean. Right? 
Jason's like, like I'm totally a bard. <laughs> Jason's like bard all the way. Bard it up. Hello, good sir. I'm a bard. Best character in Lord of the Rings is a bard. Who? Tom Bombadil. Oh, Tom Bob. He didn't even make it. Didn't even make the cut. Powerful. That's yeah, he is. No, actually. it's because their runtime was like five and a half hours. It's also because or something. he's really random. And they also super powerful. They filmed though. all yeah. of his stuff. What? Fun fact, they filmed all of Tom Bombadil's stuff, I think, for Did Lord they? of the Rings, and they cut it out because of the runtime. We must find it! Believe me, I'm I'm a Tom Bombadil fan. Why not? Who wouldn't be, honestly? But Bombadillians! But Where are my Bombadillians at? <laughs> That's what but we call it. Tommy B. He didn't even make it into the movie. And That's he's, my boy Tommy B. He's a he's a lot more than a bard. He turns into a bear and stuff. But he is a bard. Jason he turns into a bear. To do magic. Bear. That's a bard. Bear. Bard. Bear. <laughs> <laughs> you two go to your respective. Cast go to your corner. Bear. Go to your corner. <laughs> We have deviated yeah. from the concept of the bun. If okay. I'm gonna be a, a shopkeep in World of Warcraft, I say no. But you could be a cool shopkeep, like a archer, Valkyrie shopkeep. Who cares? I'm stuck as a shopkeep. Maybe you wanna be I'm Mario. selling stacks of linen cloth, man, that sucks. You're just completely irrelevant to the main characters. You can still live in the universe. You can still have cool powers and equipment and armor. I never get to use them to do anything cool. There are so many more cool things than- I think this allows you to be an adventure in World of Warcraft. You just can't affect the main storyline yeah, of you're, those games. Yeah, you're an adventurer, but eventually you take an arrow in the knee. What's the main storyline of the of World of Warcraft? Nothing, no, no one. Expansion. Everything is a- oh. No one cares. So you could do all the side quests. Exactly. Yeah, I'd be okay with that. <laughs> I press the button. I, yeah, think, I, I think it's kind of cool. Because here's the other thing. If I'm a side character and mine, I'm completely irrelevant to the main characters, makes my life a lot easier, quite honestly. Like, the main characters are the ones who are having to do, like, the heavy lifting. I get to still quest and have a good old time without really, you know, Kefka attacking me. Cool, let's do it. they won't attack you either because you're irrelevant to them. Right? I'm irrelevant. No one cares. 58, 59% of the people, of the people, have pressed this button. There you go. Yeah. Good one. Will you press the button? Whoa! Whoa! Huh? 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 Can you leave the room for us? I have married the perfect person already. <laughs> you, will you press? Okay, Steph, There's will you press the button? <laughs> Girls' dresses, Stephanie, but there are only homosexual girls on the earth. This pans out for him. That, I was gonna say, this eliminates a lot of competition for me. <laughs> <laughs> Will you press that button, Stephanie? I know how eager you are to see under girls' dresses. It's actually, it's it's the one that's supposed to be a negative that that would be like the uh, no. Why would I want that? No, no. Stephanie, like, the I can't power even to make... see under girls' dresses, I Stephanie. <laughs> Don't you want I that can't power? even make up like a devil's advocate argument for this from a girl's side. Like, I, I, I no, <laughs> I'm, I'm okay. No, thanks. I'm good. <laughs> you sure? No. Positive. All right. No, and everyone is really excited about being a bard, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> uh, I too will pass on on this one. <laughs> I can step out if you want. <laughs> <laughs> honest moment. Yeah. No, I mean, uh, undergirl, it's like... What a perv. No, it's like, <laughs> I, I just don't care. Really, like, watch Sailor Moon, he already knows. Yeah, right? why, why keep under everyone's dresses that. when Sailor Moon gives you all that and more, okay? <laughs> Jeez. It's, it's just not that cool, like, I, so what? So what? It doesn't matter. And then there are only homosexual girls. I, 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 I will, there's no point. I, I just don't get it. Yeah. No, no point. Thirty-six percent of people have pressed this button. That is far too many people who have pressed Guys. that button. Get, come Guys, on. Come on. Come on. Seriously. Unacceptable. All right. Will you press the button? You can eat your favorite food forever, but you can never eat anything else. Nah. Yeah. No. Nah. Easy. No easy. Will not press the button. No. Done. I can already eat my favorite food forever. What? Nah, I should have said that one's bad. That one was <laughs> Will you press the button? I like this one. You get a piece of pie. Yes, I love pie. But. <laughs> you get a piece of pie. But. Yes, I love pie. 
pie. <laughs> Every time you take a bite, the pie itself changes flavors from cherry pie to apple pie to turkey pot pie, etc. <sighs> Hundred percent, I'm clicking that Obviously. pie. Obviously, that is the coolest pie ever. Oh my ever. gosh, best best pie ever. I mean, it could be a really gross pie too. Honestly, like if you're like mm, apple, oh. It will change. What? But it will change. Yeah, it'll, it'll the change next bite time. will be better. Oh my gosh, what if like a surprise? It, yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. Great. That's a pretty cool pie. So the only thing is, do you know what flavor is coming up next? No, of course not. So, <laughs> you know. <laughs> It's, it's like, we, to go back to our favorite, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, you pop the gum, and you don't know what to, what meal is going to be in that gum, but it's like, oh, here's tomato soup, oh, here's chicken, oh, here's dessert. Yeah, but but think about another example. I'm, I'm by the Beauregard. Think about another example, though. When you... Skip, oh my gosh. You are being such the a worst. poop right now. You are being such a poop fly. So... I'm like a poop fly, <laughs> Skip. Be gone, poop fly. Shoo. Poop fly, don't bother me. Poop fly, don't bother me. Go ahead. Like when you think you're about to take a sip of a soda and it turns out not to be a soda, it yeah. turns out to be like water, yeah. that's really jarring. It is. I'd still do it anyway. Right? Oh, all day. All day, press the button. 77% of people have pressed this button. Heck yes. Absolutely. Heck so yes. cool. And so fun. And seeing some do you even Wonkas. Do yes. you even Wonka? Yeah. Yeah, I Absolutely Wonka. Wonka. Totally Wonka. <laughs> All right, will you press the button? Drugs are completely legal, but it's only because there's anarchy in the world? <coughs> okay. Great. No. Anarchy, Stephanie! Anarchy. That would be exciting. And Who doesn't want anarchy? And post-apocalyptic. <laughs> but, uh, nah, I'm good. Right? So, I'm not much of a drug person. Nah, nah. nah. Not, not much of a druggie? No, no, I, I, I talk about that in my Metal Gear Solid 5 episode. You stick to like the Dimetaps of the world? Caffeine, man. Drug of choice? Caffeine is my drug of choice. Here's a question. Love. Love is my drug of choice. <laughs> <laughs> Jason just like snorting over there. <laughs> If caffeine is currently illegal, oh! does that, would that change your answer? No, because I don't want that. Anarchy is a downer. For as cool as it sounds, anarchy is a downer. Who knows if Diet Coke would even survive in post-apocalyptic anarchy? Right? Coca-Cola Corporation would be like, what? There's anarchy in this world? Forget that. I'm not. I, I got nothing. We're not pressing okay. the button. No. Will not. Press, press it. No. Everyone says poop pie. Poop pie. I don't think. The, I think it has to be a legitimate, legit pie. I don't say. Like an actual pie. Come on. Uh, come on. Come on. I'm waiting. It's it's thinking about it. It's generating a question for us as we speak. Let's see. Or, or my computer is frozen. One of the two. There we go. Ooh. Ooh. What? Inter oh, this is interesting. I like this one. Okay. Will you press the button? You can read any book simply by making physical contact with it, but you can no longer read anything using your eyes. Oh. That's a problem with like road signs, <laughs> that, right? That reminds me of uh, the opening joke that I did for a Peanut Butter Gamers video that we collaborated on, his Zelda Month video, mm -hmm. where I started off the episode, where I was just, because th that's actually what I was going for, was the idea of like, me just being able to absorb books, and so like, see, this is me absorbing the book. That's you hitting a book. This is me absorbing it, it's a joke, it's a joke. <laughs> You're smacking it up good. Look, this is a joke. Funny, haha, <laughs> hilarity. And then I was like, I'm done. And I threw it away. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> it's over. <laughs> so, anyway, will you press the button? Read any book by making physical contact with it. So, like, so like Guinness That'd be World. That'd so awesome. Guinness World Records 2015. Boom, done. I got it. A video game. Uh, yeah, Guinness, Guinness World, World Record Records. of video games. Gamer edition. John absorbed it. But you can't read anything with your eyes. So, like, at this point, I'm looking at the book. I couldn't tell you that this is Guinness Book of World. Like, I'm touching it, so I could tell you. But, like, if Stephanie was holding it, 
be like, I don't know what you're holding. I think you might recognize that it's a book. I, uh, yeah, a book, but I don't know what. You the can't. Wait, so then you can't tell what anything is that you're about to read before you pick it up. Well, and I by the tell, time you I pick it up, it's, it's a, too late. I could tell it's a video game book by the illustrations. Mm -hmm. I can see mm. the illustrations and shapes. I cannot read Guinness World Records 2015. Some of us read books that aren't picture books. Not brought to you by Guinness World Record 2015. <laughs> You could read foreign books, though, by touching them. Correct. Anything. Ooh. Any book by making physical contact with it. I think I think I would do it. Road signs? So let's think about road signs. Road signs are tough. Road signs are tough. Road signs are very tough. You'd have to have GPS. You'd have to have GPS read everything to Not, you. Yeah, you would have to have a GPS. Because the thing is, even road signs. Like stop signs. Stop signs, you'd stop probably signs, be able yes. to tell. But I'm talking about like highway signs gotcha. and like where your exit's coming up and things like that. You'd have to like, you'd have to get really good at listening to your GPS. I would have to have my hand on the computer right now to be able to read the questions. Yep. That's hard. Uh, I'd do it. I would do it. I would do it. 100% I think I would do it. Because the ability to just like instantly do this, that's awesome. That's like all you do at that point is go to a library and just like brr, 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 and you've like read hundreds of books and you become like super smart. That's yeah, that's the thing. You become mega mind. The only thing is Brainiac. you might run into some weirdo books, but that's okay. It's it's probably worth it. Yeah, weirdo books? Yeah. What? Um well like the one that was just called out in the chat was Fifty Shades of Grey, That's which is not book. a weirdo book. It's like it's actually a really popular book, but maybe you didn't want to read Fifty Shades Don't of Grey. Don't waste your time. <laughs> what if you accidentally touch Fifty Shades of Grey? Oh, <laughs> oh my. Oh my. Oh, so to speak. From, from, the, from, the, from the book. Uh, yeah, see. you would be you would be super smart. Cody Preston says the dictionary. Heck yes. Everyone's like accidentally picks up Fifty Shades of Grey. Dark Knight Gaming just touch all books in existence. Yep. Derp Productions Braille. Yeah. Enos, uh, let's see. Doctor Maya Huggins, Dr. Seuss. Indeed. <laughs> uh, there you go. Yep. Uh, let's see. You couldn't. My, uh, that's what Audible is for. That's funny. <laughs> uh, <laughs> All right, let's press it. I've, I've got this. Yeah. I'm pressing. Totally. 42% have pressed the button. 58% did not. Huh. Hmm. Everyone says. Driving would be a nightmare, but we live in a day and age where GPS technology is really good. It is. Like, really good. And it's only going to get better. And you could also touch your phone if you needed to read what, what was coming up next and yeah. how far away it was. That being said, this is interesting. So, Jay the Meme says, it might be a spoiler book. Do you really want that? Well, so here's the question. And, and it's a good point. By reading the book, do you get to, like, by touching it, do you get to experience kind of like... The, dr the drama of the story. I think it's just as if you had just finished that book. Really? Yeah, I think so. If that's the case, then yes. If you that isn't the case, and I read the book and I don't get to experience like the emotional rise and fall of the story, then it might be a different story. I'm gonna stick with it. Great. Will you press the button? Ability to survive in any environment. Ooh, extreme temperatures, space, underwater, <laughs> but you can only be naked. Meh. Hey, as long as I can look under girls' skirts, right? <laughs> no, that's not how I feel about things. <laughs> it's not, not what I feel at all, actually. Please, please don't take that out of context. You'll take it out of context. <laughs> Darn it. All right, so anyway. Oh, man, I'm so tempted. What do you, what do you think? Yeah? Tempted? I'm, I'm so tempted. Because that would be awesome. The thing is, you would basically have to be alone forever. Why? Unless you brought someone with you who you're just like, yeah. hey, naked friend. But then they couldn't. Nudists are a thing, Stephanie. Yeah, but, but you They can't. are a growing community <laughs> that will not be ignored. <laughs> just, like Steph, just like Skip eating the microphone cord right now underneath the table. The thing is, you could travel to all of those places, but you would have to go alone because no one else can survive there. That is true. Unless you find someone else who has also pressed the button. Right. Which I'm sure 50% of people have probably pressed the button. See, if it weren't for that, I might go for it. Because if, if you could like bring people with you or whatever, yeah. okay. and then it's like, okay, I'm naked, you're naked, we're naked, like, 
eventually it's just like, all right, whatever. Yeah, and then, and then, cause, yeah, you get over it because there's so much awesome stuff to look at because you're in outer space or you're at the bottom of the ocean floor or you're inside a molten volcano and that's awesome. They're just checking you out with the male gaze the whole time. And, and they press the other button so it doesn't matter anyway because they could see under my skirt. Oh! So. <laughs> I would totally do this. Yeah, even though you could only go alone and you could only be naked for the rest no, of your life. No, under your rules, under your rules, it def 100% definitely. Um, I like hashtag perf pat. That is, hashtag perf pat, come on. That is circulating right now. No, 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 no. You can only be, so am I only naked at the times when I'm exploring those extreme so. environments? See, Stephanie is prejudiced against nudists. No, not at all. I just don't want to be the only one. You don't want to be the only naked guy, like, hanging out with a bunch of people in Christmas sweaters and stuff. That's just weird. Sometimes you just gotta do it. Just do it, nudist. <laughs> nudist. Uh, hey, uh, yeah, so if I only have to be naked when I'm doing the extreme environment, then absolutely yes. Because even if I'm naked, like, like you said, I would be alone. And so I would be alone under the sea, making sure that no fish nibble any worms that might be coming their way. If you get what I'm saying. Do you get what I'm saying? I think you get what I'm saying. So anyway. Oh uh, my gosh. <laughs> this is this is the, uh, someone pointed this out in, on Twitter. I, I'm sorry, I forget who it was. Someone pointed out last week that there comes a point in every live stream where you're like laughing at the camera and I have my face just like, I'm just like face palming. This is, this is, this that, is moment. that moment. Right Ready? here. Ready? <laughs> Okay. So anyway, uh, yeah, but totally. And then I would come back, clothe myself, and then tell people about the wonders of the Mariana Trench or deep space. You could bring your camera. But That'd it's even, be cool. But it's even better if there's someone else with you. So, you know, nudity is better in pairs. <laughs> Jason agrees. Jason knows what I'm talking about. I pressed Click the button. It. I, bet, I did. Click I pressed it. the button. This is so awkward and naked. Click it. Go. Click it. Press. We pressed it. We pressed it. There it is. Okay. 61% of people have pressed the button. <laughs> Heck yes. Heck yes. That was a good one. Do, 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 do. Give me another question or I can be creepy. Creepy. All right. Oh my gosh. What? Well, you press the button, you become as rich as you, okay, here we go, rich as you want, but you have to eat a dollar bill for every thousand dollars you spend. I'd do it. <coughs> sure. Excuse me. I, I think you do it, and the way you do it, bless you. <coughs> Excuse me. You all right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, have, I have a tissue around here somewhere. So. What? I have a tissue? I don't know where it went. <laughs> It's over. Oh, no, that's it's, your foot. Wait. That's, that's, it's, not, it's your foot. Wait. Where'd my tissue go? Could rub your face on Skip. Okay, fine. Just not on Skip. We're done. Skip. It's okay. over. Okay, We're good. Okay, fine. It was a dry sneeze anyway. <laughs> I was just doing it for posterity's sake. So the way you get through this is you ha every every day, however often you spend a thousand bucks or whatever, because you have like unlimited cash. Unlimited or money. Whatever. You you are probably one of those you know, people who's eating super expensive, like green smoothies every morning anyway. You throw in your kale, you throw in a, like, you throw in a dollar bill along with it, you blend it up. Oh. You'll never know the difference between that kale and that dollar bill. Same fiber content, doesn't even matter. You're, you're good. You'll never know. So, yeah, agreed. Also, this is super, like, rich as you want, that's easy. But then, oh, thank you, Jason. Thank, thank you, Aww. thank you, buddy. Oh, hey, hey. You're off my hit list now. Yay! <laughs> Shoot, that means I'm at the top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what? Uh, so, uh, you've been bumped up. Dollar smoothie. Yeah, you do you just dollar smoothie the heck out of that thing. Dollar smoothie, absolutely. Yeah. Also, uh, you have to eat a dollar bill every time. So, fun fact, not so fun fact, weird fact, I eat paper sometimes. Should I not talk about that? No. <laughs> no, you eat fortune cookies. Yeah. Paper. Slits the, slits the pieces of paper in fortune cookies because some some crazy person 
told you that for them to come true, you have to eat them. Yeah, so when I was young, someone told me that in order to for a fortune cookie fortune to come true, you have to eat the fortune. You have to eat the whole cookie, obviously, but then you have to eat the fortune as well. And so I started doing that, and people think it's weird. I, uh, is you there guys don't anyone think who thinks this is normal? This is all, this is another N64 controller issue. You guys do it. It totally. I, is. I know that there's going to be at least one or two of you out there who do it with me. So hashtag Dollar Smoothie. And, and, that's it's totally the way to handle this one. And I'll have you know that my fortunes generally tend to come true. So there you go. <laughs> so it must work. Must be it. Press the button. Seventy-eight percent of you have pressed the button. Absolutely. Plus, eating paper is great fiber content. Skip. There, Some, there are actually other people who are like, oh yeah, I sometimes eat paper. <laughs> right? See? <laughs> See? Same. And, Poke, Pokestar Dragacraft says the same. There you go. Wouldn't you get sick from the crap on adult, on the bill? Hopefully the kale is like offsetting that or something. Or maybe you just like take a, a hit of cold medicine afterward or whatever. I mean, I will say this. Buying a house will suck. Oh. Because buying a house, you are spent like anywhere between 100000 on the low end to like if, if you have unlimited money, I'm presuming that you're buying like multi-million dollar house, in which case then you're eating like a thousand dollar bills. Oh. That's a lot of dollar bills. But can you make payments? Yeah, right. maybe it's just a payment. I think, it, I think it is over the lifetime you have to eat whatever you've spent. Oh, okay. So... Oh. It, it is a still, lot. It's that, a lot. That does become a lot, doesn't it? A thousand, yeah, but still. Like, I wish I were. Day. I wish I were Andy Whale. I will be. I will because Canadian money smells like maple syrup. Great. That does help. There you go. What else we got? Let's see. You could. You could wash it. I eat paper sometimes. People are eating paper. I literally. <laughs> Nintendo Draco. Nintendo Draco. I'm literally eating paper right now. Nintendraco, be careful, man. I think that's a little strange. Diana Hernandez, we all eat paper once in a while. There you go. See, this one's for you. Sometimes they get stuck oh, on the... Oh, oh, ew, 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 that's so gross. Don't do that. I was just going to say, sometimes you get those, like, candy dots, and there's a little bit of paper stuck to the back of them. Yeah. And sometimes you accidentally... Oh, God, I can't... Oh, you're chewing. Oh, I can't... Even... Ugh, 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 ugh. A little chewy. <laughs> That is so gross. Stay oh, that is so gross. Uh, boom. Magic trick. It's gone! <laughs> oh, so anyway, we press the button. You can control time, i.e. time travel, stop time, etc. Okay, you can fo I'm still, I'm focus like, on oh, the question. Oh, God, the paper is so what? gross. It's, what? It's tissue paper. Uh, Here, try, try a little bit. No, no. Try a little bit. No. Come on. Skip a little No, I'm not eating. No, I'm not eating tissue. Why not? It's a little, little bite. No. Little bite. No. Come on, a little, little nibble. No. Wait, well, press the button. You can control time, i.e. time travel, stop time, etc. <laughs> you are a time lord. But, I'm a time lord. But you're immortal. Everyone you ever meet will die, but you won't. Eventually, you'll be the last human on alive. <gasps> on alive. On alive. Stephanie, last wow. human on alive. Well, think could, about that. Think how many lifetimes you could go back and, and live through. You could live a hundred, a thousand lifetimes. It's because you can always go back in time. I think that would be awesome. I would press that button. It's Agreed. A, it's a bold. It's a bold choice. I think. Honestly, I, I don't think it's that hard of a choice because here you can control time. You can stop it. You can time travel to the front, forward, and backward. You yeah. can do all that. You can slow down time. Yeah, everyone you meet will die, but you can just travel back to the past over and over again. Yeah. And since you're immortal. Once you get bored of one like reality, yeah. you can go back and change something in the past. Right. Pass, and, and you can play out a completely out. different reality. Yeah. Yep. It's great. I love it. Absolutely. You, 100%. And you live enough lifetimes, you like know enough people, you can change anything. You can just like talk about butterfly effect. Right. Jeez. Only 67% of people have pressed this button. That seems low to me. I thought more would have pressed it. It's Doctor Who, basically. Yeah. There Hashtag TARDIS, yes. TARDIS, yes. Here we go. Butterfly effect. <laughs> yep. Oh. <laughs> well, you press the button. Vegetables taste pretty good, but meat no longer tastes good. <laughs> I like that it's vegetables taste pretty, pretty good. good. Meat no, no longer tastes, tastes good. Uh, no way. No, no way. No, vegetable. Vegetables already taste 
pretty good. Yeah. Right? They're, they're already pretty good. They're already okay. I wouldn't go pretty good. I'd go okay. Whoa. One, one step down from pretty good. Right. If we're like awesome, good, like pretty good, filet mignon okay. steak. Ruth's Chris Steakhouse. That's awesome. Top number one. That's number where, one. Where, where's, where's vegetables fall? <laughs> Veg, you can't even see vegetables from filet mignon. I think. No, we're. So, they're kind of they're pretty far down. Now, like what 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 is in the vicinity of vegetables? Uh, in the vicinity of vegetable legumes. <laughs> Great, what? thanks. Thanks, bean family. What? Yeah, right? Beans? Beans are comparable to vegetables? to vegetables? Sure. Why not? I'd be just as likely to eat a piece of broccoli as I would a soybean. Edamame is pretty tasty. <laughs> okay. okay, so we're not pressing the button, right? No, no, no way. not pressing the button. It doesn't make any sense. No. Nah. That's a goofy one. If you're already a vegetarian, why not? Well, if you're already vegetarian, probably you're, you've acclimated to the point where vegetables, I hope, taste more than pretty good, but you know, whatever. Right? <laughs> Kelly, uh, Kevin Kelly, I think, said, my carnivore instincts are saying no. The star Skittle says, don't, don't ruin, ruin bacon. bacon. I like that. Absolutely. Charles Ch Dawson says, veggies are so good. Do you know, Charles Dawson, I'm, I'm pretty jealous of you because I wish veggies tasted better to me. They are, they're okay. They're okay. I eat a lot of salads, but I wish they tasted better Crade to me. Chiha says, I don't like vegetables. White, white Lee's gaming and other stuff. Just has a lot of yum faces or something. Maybe I don't that's know. yum to the vegetables. Maybe uh, they really like. Ariane Patel says, this is a sponsored episode, isn't it? No, <laughs> no. Sponsored by vegetables. Sponsored by tissue paper. Delicious. <laughs> Sponsored by Guinness World Records 2015. Boom, I read it. No. The restaurant. Yeah, oh, Ruth's Chris. I just like Ruth's Chris. Ruth's Chris. I just really want steak. <laughs> it's like my favorite steak. It's so good. It is so good. Hashtag unsponsored. <laughs> unsponsored opinions. Uh, will you press the button? You can make fictional characters come to life at will. As many as you like, as often as you like, but they only stay for a day. They can be summoned again, but it takes two months before they can return. Oh, no question. Yeah, obviously. That's all, that's all upside. Okay. All well, upside. Who would you make come to life first then? Because I think this is an obvious yes. Yeah. All right, Jason, Steph, me, who, you at home watching fellow yeah, GT you, live viewers. Who do you pick? Who, who do you, you pick? pick? Who do you pick, Steph? I I need a second. You guys go first. I need a second too. This one's hard. It is hard. I don't want you. Don't want to make the wrong choice. For me, I will say, for me, I think it's between Gandalf. Okay. And Mr. Darcy from Pride and Prejudice. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to give you this power. <laughs> oh, Mr. Darcy, he's so mysterious and aloof and he changes into such a heartthrob. Get over it. He's, he's not that so good. He's so secretly sensitive. Oh, screw <laughs> secretly sensitive. And he drinks ass. so much tea because he's English. Oh, go burgle some tea, Stephanie. Century. Go burgle some tea. <laughs> <laughs> ZFT, Z Factor Thresh wanted to share with us. Just non sequitur here. Today I farted in class and everyone in my class died. That's, thank you, ZFT, for that wow. brilliant anecdote. That is a superpower right there. Jesse Tang wants to know hello, what's happening right now? Jesse, right now we're learning that Stephanie wants to make a fictional Mr. Darcy from Pride and Prejudice come to life so that she can leave me and run off to her little British no. Pemberley house and drink tea. No, I don't want to- Go burgle some tea. It's just, it's just the tea. He's the, like, what, what it's are you gonna the do? It's just the tea! I will get you tea if it's just the tea. It is not just the tea. It's never about the tea. It's never about the tea. It's not just about the tea. Don't even, don't touch me and relive my darkest memory. <laughs> Yes, and it was through my clothes, and I recognized that. <laughs> it's no, because he's rich, and he fences, and is aloof, okay? So and he has a cute accent. Like all the popular YouTubers, they have a cute accent, okay? I'm sorry, I come from the Midwest. Damn it. Done. Fun fact, the Midwest accent is actually supposed to be the most appealing American accent there is. American accent? 
It's true. It's supposed to be the, the most just like me. relatable American accent. Skip. Like like what? Skip is the most relatable cat butt appearing on camera. Well, podcast, <laughs> well. It's true. It's it's so true. No, having the Midwest I, accent is the best with one. Mr. Darcy and his hunting dogs, and his horse, and whatever other things he has. Who would you choose? So and and just to qualify, so you have you have a day. Whoever it is, you're not going to like develop a deep relationship with them. It's about like observing the way that they would be in real life. So with with Dumbledore, you bring him back. You talk to him about magic and he does a bunch of tricks for you. You fly around on some eagles and then he goes home. And that's an awesome day. And with Mr. Darcy, you bring him over. He fences with some other person. He broods a little bit. You have some tea at Pemberley and then he's gone. That's it. And yet your heart remains with him. His, his heart is with Elizabeth Bennet. There is nothing I can do about that. And I, hey man. I respect her turf. You still think that you could steal him away from Elizabeth Bennet? Absolutely. I don't want you to have this power. <laughs> I'm pressing the button. I'm pressing it. No, don't press the button. Uh, Jason, who would you bring back? So, do they retain their powers then? If yes, they retain their powers. I'm gonna go with Edward Elric from Full Metal. Oh, yeah, Skip. Yeah. Why wow. are you blocking half the Oh, screen? Willy Wonka without question. See, I wouldn't want Willy Wonka without his chocolate factory. So why, why, why Elric? Yeah, why Elric? I feel like there is plenty of like wizards and sorcerers and stuff like that over time that I could bring around, but Alchemy is. It's true. Alchemy. Is unique. Alchemy is pretty cool. To that story, yeah. that universe, and Edward reminds me of like how my brother was when I was younger. So I feel like he'd be good to hang out with, hmm. and the powers would be cool. So that I like your reasoning there. <laughs> the I think the chat has come up with what is clearly the smartest answer, though which is Doctor Who, the doctor. Because even though he can only stay for a day, huh. you can leave with him and travel, bless you, <laughs> Thanks. through time and space. I thought maybe you had another one. No, I'm good. Okay. Uh, you can travel through time and space, so your day basically never ends. That is that is super smart. I totally respect that. Valentine Craft says, Gaijin Goomba. I would learn so much about Japan. Fun fact, Valentine Craft, Gaijin Goomba is in fact a real person. He is a real person. <laughs> Spoiler alert, Gaijin Goomba is in fact a person. Maybe she wants him in Goomba form. She actually wants a little Goomba. Goomba. She can like carry him around during the day. And you could tell her Japan facts. Right, there you go. Uh, also, Krisha, Krisha Siren, Siren, purple guy from FNAF, just to find out who it is. Poor choice. <laughs> then get stuffed into an anima now animatronic it. suit and die. Uh, Josh Venz wants to know, what do I think of trombones? They're all right. <laughs> they're, 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 they're best when they're in the suicide lines. If you've ever seen a trombone suicide, that's always exciting. Uh, who would I bring back? Yeah, who's yours? Trying to think of like some hottie that I could bring to life. To it's Sailor Moon, Mr. isn't Darcy. it? It's Sailor, it's all about, sa no, your favorite is Sailor Mercury, right? No, not Sailor Mercury. It would probably be... <laughs> probably sa Sailor... Sailor Venus, maybe. She's, she's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> Jason, don't give me that judgmental look! I need to strike... Hey, if she's getting Mr. Darcy, we be like, Oh, please, pour more tea into my mouth. And he's like, no, way. my heart is only with Elizabeth Bennet. Can I get some floozy from somewhere just to make her jealous? You've already been looking up her skirt for years. What else? What do I have to be jealous about at this point? Well, who's I? Who would you? Who would you bring? No, just genuinely, who would you bring back? Because honestly, if I'm thinking about it realistically, and I had to choose between Gandalf and Mr. Darcy, not jealousies aside, I would go with Gandalf because he's just he can do cooler yeah, stuff. Yeah, that's the right choice, Stephanie. <laughs> not some like. British lord, okay, who has nothing interesting to say and is kind of a jerk for pretty much the whole time, okay? He's not that good, ladies! Get over it! He's sensitive. He's just... I get it. Uh, I would probably bring back uh, maybe the incarnation of God from Bruce Almighty. 
Ooh. Who, who goes Whoa. to Jim Carrey, Morgan Freeman goes to Jim Carrey and is like, hey, have godlike powers. All right, cool, thanks. Thanks, Morgan Freeman. Uh, that's, that's pretty cool. I, I would want so someone who, yeah, I was gonna say, yeah, Genie would be, I was thinking Genie of more people fun. who could give me powers or like grant wishes or something like that. Genie, <gasps> yeah, Genie's actually a really good choice. Someone said Santa. Santa's oh, that's nice. What? What? Santa. Well, yeah, but. Can you think, summon him? Yeah, you summon, can summon him. him. Bring me my toys, Santa. Matthew Lord, Deadpool. I don't know. I'd be worried about bringing Deadpool back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not I'd sure be, about that one. I'd be very worried about Deadpool. You gotta worry about something. Oh, one. I actually, I love this one. Jack Freelander, bring back Paris. Paris. He would incarnate Paris. Paris, your totally ugly do that. me character. I would totally. Star do Demon that. 88 says Sailor Moon's daughter. That's creepy. Mm. Plus, it's rainy, and rainy is I don't know. Rainy is nice. But we Thor? decided. Thor was something I also Ooh, saw Thor Harry Potter. Cool. Harry Michael, Potter, Michael Scott. Michael Scott from The Office. Michael Scott from The Office. I love that. Put I your breakables away. That's awesome. Oh, that's funny. I saw some sword art online shout outs. Yeah. People singing the who's who's singing? Pokemon. The, they're uh, let's see. see. Uh let's see. Let's see, Santa's, uh, I can only, uh, ba -ba -ba, everything, see, everything that I can to give me godlike power, says Devin Rish. Yeah, that's the right answer. Uh, oh, Kama Murdoch, I love your accent. Well, thank you. I'm glad that someone appreciates it. Don't even, don't, don't even. <laughs> Silica from SAO, Q from James Bond. Ooh, that's cool. Uh, Wicked Witch or uh, Ooh, Dorothy, yeah. tap your heels three times. Oh, man. Donald Trump, great. <laughs> also... Real person. <laughs> <laughs> what? Donald Trump's what? a real person? What? Come on. Jar Jar? Are you kidding? Are no. You kidding me right now? No, you don't want that. Bill Cipher, Bill, Ranger Z. Bill Cipher, you guys. Be careful with that one. You guys, no way. Paul Scally, <laughs> Chandler from Friends. Chandler from Friends. <laughs> <laughs> he would be awesome to hang out with for a day. Come on. He would make you feel better about your life. That's for sure. He's, he's, he's like so in, hapless all the time. He is a bit hapless, but you guys, you could just like hang out and binge watch Netflix. All he would totally binge watch Netflix. Right, the whole time, and you would just watch. You would just watch uh, Netflix the whole time. All right, Here we go. all right, we definitely press it. Okay, okay I think this is the last one because we're coming up an hour and a half. Yeah. So I think that let's close it off with this. If it's a good one, we'll see. Well, you press the button. You learn to survive a zombie apocalypse with any 14 people and the weapon of your choice. Oh, with, with unlimited, unlimited ammo. ammo. <laughs> nice. But three of the people closest to you are bitten and turned, and you are the one that must kill them. Oh. You learn to survive a zombie apocalypse with any 14 people and are and the weapon of your choice. But three of the people closest to you are bitten and turned, and you are the one that must kill them. Does this seem like a lose-lose to anyone? It's a zombie apocalypse. That's not a good thing. No, it's, it's a scenario. So the zombie apocalypse is coming no matter what. Yeah. Oh, oh, I see. Yeah, it's not like you have summoned a zombie Ooh, apocalypse. Okay. It's just knowledge, Steph. It's coming. <laughs> right? It's only a matter of time, Stephanie. Jeez. <laughs> You're so right. You're so right, Jason. Um, no? Yes? Yes, no? I say... You're the people closest to you. I, I say Is yes. The three are, are the three people part of that 14? I believe so, yes. I would assume that three of the people are <laughs> part of the 14. I say yes, and here's my reasoning why. Ready? All right, so the zombie apocalypse is coming. I have no say over that. Yeah. I get to choose 14 people. I learn to survive with those people, and I have a weapon that will keep me alive, presumably through the end of the apocalypse, or till I die or whatever, okay? Mm -hmm. Yes, three of the people closest to me are bitten and I have to kill them. That's awful. But the thing is, th I have a better likelihood of surviving with more of the people that I care about in scenario in, in this scenario than if it was just me left to my own devices trying to learn to survive on my own and all of us just trying to like, I feel like losing three people close to me <laughs> will end up being a smaller net loss than if I don't press the button. Oh, man. Weighing the pros and cons. I'm totally getting scared through the head, aren't I? Jeez. I don't know. There's probably a 
33.3333% chance <laughs> that you survive. Should have taken the million dollars. Uh, I, I, I respect that reasoning. I, I think I agree. Oh, press that button. Let's do one more. Okay. That was a short one. Oh man. 53% and press the button. One more. What? That's, that's goofy. You have an 80% chance to win your ranked matches, but your teammates are Brazilian. Whatever. Press the button. Uh, 80% sure. chance, yeah. Next. Why would, yeah, that's yep. goofy. Yeah, 80 who cares if the teammates are Brazilian? What? Come on now. That's goofy. Go, press it. There, good. That, oh, I should've said that bad, that was stupid. Okay. Shoot, all right. What? When you press the button, you, you become <laughs> death destroyer of worlds, but you're a bit depressed all the time. What? Weird. See, I, I, I should have stopped at the last question. I should have just stopped. We've entered into the land of silliness. Uh, I'm okay. For the for the moment, I'm okay not being Death Destroyer of Worlds. Yeah, I, I will not be Death. I don't need uh, to be Death. I can hold off. Hold off yeah. on being Destroyer of Worlds for a while. 4%. Alright. Alright. Ooh, okay. Okay, here it is. Okay, okay. Will you press the button.com? You have the ability to recover from any injury, uh -huh. but you feel twice the amount of pain during the healing process. Worth it. Push it. Punch. Mm, Skip is blocking my whole head here. <laughs> here button punch. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Why? Oh, look. What's your Skip's reason? just like balanced on it. It looks like I'm resting my chin on Skip's head. <laughs> I'm just happy. I can't write uh, this, is, uh, this is where the stream devolves, uh, and, and it's all. Blue I say, too. I say, uh, yes. Think about it. You get crushed by a car. You're like, you're in a car accident that would otherwise lead to fatal injuries, and you get to survive that. I think you're hedging your bets. But it's gonna hurt really bad. It's gonna hurt really bad. But modern medicine. I trust modern medicine. Or, or modern ability to heal yourself. I trust modern medicine to give me a lot of pain meds. You gotta, you gotta feel it, Steph. You can't be doing these backdoor cheat codes. I think, I think in this case you can, because no. if you like, you feel, you feel twice the amount of pain. You if feel I, it. If I'm feeling one time the amount of pain, I'm, I'm like, if I don't take this option, I'm allowed to take pain medicine. So. Stop. <laughs> no, Jason, do you take it? I take it. Take yeah, it. I take it. I take it. I take it as well. Press it. Yeah, it's, it's gonna it's gonna hurt. Boom. But you know what? But you live. But you live. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Absolutely. So there you go. That's it for now. I think that's a good place to end it on. Uh, Skip, who has literally walked has across the camera. I live stream I don't like know. eight times today. I, I don't know what, how many times he's gone past. <laughs> so what have we learned today? We've learned that Steph really wants those drugs. Yeah. Give, give me those pain meds. So we've learned that Steph really wants tea, British guys, drugs, and to look up other girls' skirts. I was going to say that you, and you want to hang out with a lot of anime chicks, especially you, Sailor Moon. You forced me into it, Stephanie. And you... Your love of Mr. Darcy has forced you me into a, this. You are a poop fly? I am a poop fly. Poop fly, don't bother me. Nah, don't bother me. And that you've had some digestion issues in the past that don't that you don't want to repeat. Reminder no to everyone what. tuning in late to the stream: don't eat too many seeds. Cactus poop. Don't don't do it. If you missed it, it'll be uploaded on GT Live. You can watch. But this is my sincere warning to you: beware the danger of eating too many seeds unshelled. <laughs> well, gotta watch out for those shells, guys. Real real talk here. <laughs> <laughs> and that's about it. So thank you guys for watching. And remember, that's just a stream, a live stream. Thanks for pressing the button with me. Let's say goodbye to people. Press the button. Uh, let's see. I'm all 50. I don't know what that means. Uh, oh, I'm all 50. You are one person. Who Someone said Senpai won't notice me, but I did notice you. Come back to me. I want to notice the person who said I didn't notice.